Welcome back. Great to have you with us on The Full View. Former President Jacob Zuma will remain in hospital indefinitely following a surgical procedure. The Department of Correctional Services says it is unable to predict a discharge date for the former president who was admitted to an outside hospital earlier this month. Zuma is serving a 15-month prison term in the Escort Correctional Service Centre, a correctional centre rather in KwaZulu-Natal, for contempt of court. The department says Zuma had undergone a surgical procedure yesterday today with other procedures scheduled for the upcoming days. Well, we are now joined by Jacob Zuma Foundation spokesperson Mzwanele Manyi. Mr. Manyi, thank you for being with us. Uh, we understand this may be a private health issue. Um, is, is there anything you can tell us about the, the condition of the former president? Uh, <clears throat> good evening, Francis, and to the viewers. Indeed, uh, President Zuma is still serving he is uh, 15 months uh, incarceration without trial, uh, as it were. And as we speak now, he's in the hospital following uh, the uh, uh, routine visit that he had initially gone in there for. Uh, and indeed, the correctional services has now confirmed uh, that uh, yesterday he had gone through medical procedures uh, and he's going through that now. So he's still uh, recovering uh, from yeah. that situation. So this situation is not a happy situation. It's a situation of a 79-year-old uh, man uh, nearing his 80th birthday that uh, is recovering. So indeed, uh, for us as a foundation, we call on the country uh, to keep him in their prayers. Yeah. For, for South Africans who are very concerned about the health of the former president, um, uh, so, so you can't give us uh, details of how serious this, this could be. Uh, if he is in good hands and uh, with the um, correct uh, surgical procedures, will he recover? Is, is there anything on the prognosis? Uh, look, only doctors can make that kind of a definitive statement. I think all of us. Uh, that are watching from uh, the sidelines can only hope for the best. Uh, President Zuma is generally a strong person and all that, but uh, we, are, we have got the fullest of confidence in the medical team that is handling President Zuma. This is a hospital that uh, uh, generally would be dealing with uh, former heads of state uh, and, and so on. So really, uh, they have all the resources in their disposal. So I think in terms of medical care, the country uh, must really... Uh, relax and say and understand and accept uh, that uh, he is in the best care possible, which is why also it's objectionable uh, that to have the lawyers of the NPA that would second guess a military type hospital that deals with health of state for NPA lawyers to be going there and second guessing this and saying that uh, on the 20th of June there must be uh, 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 not, not, not of, of August. Not only must there be medical report, but they want to subject President Zuma to a second opinion from their private doctor. Uh, we think that is quite condescending. We think it's uncalled for. Uh, we think that uh, the hospital that is dealing with President Zuma has got the way with all and it must be believed, it must be trusted. Their integrity must not be insulted by the lawyers of the NPA. Yeah. We take very strong exception to this. Isn't it a matter of course, um, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but the president may have to miss some court appearances uh, for, for then the NPA to, to just ask for some sort of uh, report without uh, revealing anything private to the public? President Zuma is not in some Paza shop medical environment. He is in an official government-run hospital. So if you have no faith and confidence in the things that the government is putting into place, then where does that leave us? So we cannot have a situation in this country where a hospital that is basically state-run, uh, a hospital that generally deals with heads of states, uh, when it pronounces and says somebody is not well, for some private individual who's got some uh, mysterious agenda uh, to come and second-guess that and say, I want to subject you to my doctor. You are actually insulting the professional integrity yeah. of the doctors that are dealing with President Zuma. So we're saying the NPA must desist from this kind of an attitude, must desist uh, from this kind of condescension where they, they insult the professional integrity of the doctors in that hospital. When those doctors say President Zuma is well, he'll be well. When they say he's unwell, they must take the word of the, doc of, of the doctors for that. 
As the foundation, uh, is there any way you can check in on him? Uh, what, what about the family as well? I'm not sure about uh, the visitation rights in, in prison, but because of COVID-19, uh, is, is it hard? I'm sure they can't visit him uh, in, in hospital either. Yeah, look, right now the conditions of visiting President Zuma are still very stringent. Uh, he, in fact, he was already uh, in isolation because he just arrived at the hospital and all of that. Uh, he had not come out of the isolation in terms of the hospital rules and also lockdown for regulation at the time. Uh, now, uh, where we are now, why the situation where we're already in the hands of the medical uh, professionals. Uh, but in terms of visitations, only two groups of people are able to visit uh, His Excellency President Zuma, and that is the doctors and the lawyers. Uh, even the family, as things stand, has got no freedom to just go up and down there. It's really only the doctors and the, and the lawyers that can see President Zuma. Mm -hmm. So those are the rules of the uh, okay. uh, correctional services which we have to abide by. The ANC has wished the former president well after the surgical procedure. Uh, do you think that would be well received? President Zuma is a disciplined member of the African National Congress. Uh, I think for him as a person, he would not have a problem with that. Uh, we've noted the statement uh, of the ANC. We've also noted something very uncharacteristic in that statement that they have referred to him as former president. We don't, we don't understand this because we understand the ANC position to refer to everyone that has ever been a president as a president. It is very untraditional with the ANC to be referring to him as former president. Even, even generals of the ANC, like uh, for instance, uh, Spuenia as an example, even today is referred to as general uh, and all of that, no former general and all of that. So we, we, we know it as a foundation, the statement of the ANC, and we don't understand why is it that the ANC is acting in a manner that is not characteristic. All right, thank you very much for your time tonight. Uh, that was Jacob Zuma Foundation spokesperson Mzwanele Mani. Now the